What's up guys, what's going on? Today I'm going back to White Clay Creek and try to catch some trout. Um, if you've seen my previous videos, I tried to went to go there twice, one on an opening day, which was completely ridiculous. I didn't even bother to stay there. There were so many people. Uh, there was even no place to, uh, to fish. So anyhow, and then second time I went and uh, they didn't bite at all. I mean, they were swimming there. Um, I would drop the bait right in front of their faces and trout just swims away. So today is the third time. So third time is a charm, I guess. And let's see what I can get there. I'll see you in a moment. All right, guys, we are at the creek. There are some people already here, so let's see if we can find some spot. Well, yesterday we had a big rain and the water is muddy right now. I'm not sure if I'll catch anything today here. Too muddy. Well guys, the White Clay Creek trout fishing was a big fail. So the water was muddy, people was all around there. I saw one guy pull one uh, trout on a, on a worm. And the reason being I went to uh, that creek because you can see right now, even though the skies are clear and sun is shining, but uh, the wind 20, 25 miles an hour. So there's no way in hell I'm gonna I would have gone on my kayak so anyhow now I got to my um, one of my neighbor neighborhood ponds um, I caught a few fish a couple of weeks ago here so let's see if I catch some more stay tuned all right I'm gonna try this just cast this uh, sweet beaver and see if we can get you anything on it on the Texas rig I'm trying chatterbait now. Let's see what they're gonna be into. I need to find what they would like. Last time I was here, uh, I used Senka. So if I won't catch anything on chatterbait, I'll try Senka again. Yeah, I just got one bite. Actually, I didn't... I thought it was a snag, but it was a fish and I didn't set the hook. So it came off. Fish on, guys. Fish on. There you go. It's a nice fish. It's a nice fish and of course I forgot my scale there you go guys uh, it's probably one and a half pound anyway oh the cheddar bait there you go The forecast was 20 miles an hour. I mean, this is all, I don't know, it's probably all 40. Wow. Oh. Look at that wind. It's just crazy. 
crazy. And there's a fish. He was just there. <laughs> he was right in that muddy water. Nice fish. Look at this guy. He is skinny. I don't know, one and a half pound maybe. Eh, not bad. From this point I was using my 360 camera. Uh, what I'm saying here that I slipped from the bank into the water down into the two feet and um, as you can see my right sleeve and uh, the whole right side pretty much was wet and my GoPro got wet a little bit and shut down so I started using 360 camera but the sound uh, because of the wind was completely unusable. Here I moved to the other side of the pond and I start, as I start casting I haven't set up the camera and I caught two fish, one about a pound uh, and the other one was more than two pounds. It was a nice fish but I haven't recorded so I have only a picture of it. And so as I set my camera up, um, you see in this footage, I hooked up a good fish. but. I wasn't wasn't able to pull it out it came off so I saw the side of it it was a nice sizable fish and after casting for two hours or so um, I didn't get any more bites so my day ended with this scene